No such word as can't. The Autism Acceptance Project is a forum that will exhibit the art and present the lectures by autistic people that can teach us so much about autism. Art creates an equal playing field that reminds us that we are all the same despite our differences. We are all imperfect despite our perfection. There's a big difference between who I was as a child and who I am as an adult. And it's fascinating because as a child, you know, I started off very inward, very unable to really relate to other kids. I've learned to use sensory stimulation in order to buffer the uncomfortable sensory stimulation. This is not about creating disease. It is about recognizing and acknowledging the gifts and abilities, even among the challenges that human beings have innately. Vocally, singing was, has been the big healing lesson of my life. Enfolding me are angel wings, lifting me above these happy things. All the stuff that I've done hasn't cured me. It's enabled me to find a way of functioning in the world. When we allow them to, to participate in creation, creating art, be it movement or be it paintings or music, we can see how art really affects their life. It's been very exciting over the last 30 years to see an increased understanding of the challenges that many autistic people face and to see the current developments in terms of intervention, but there hasn't been the same focus on the skills and unique abilities that many people among this community have to offer. No such word as can't. That's why it's so important to show the art. That's why it's so important to bring to bring the public to see that there is someone there that is valid, that is real, that is a human being that has the right to really, for us as society, to respect them and accept them and cherish them the way they are. I created the Autism Acceptance Project because when my son Adam was diagnosed, it was at first devastating. 
I pictured a child alone in the room, rocking himself back and forth, perhaps hitting himself. The word autism is like opening a floodgate where all your current realities and your dreams wash away. But unfortunately, that's like throwing the baby out with the bathwater. Angels are dancing, entrancing, advancing. Legions of light pouring into the world. Well, I began to teach Adam the joy of relating to me, to others, to play, to tickle, to be just a child. And I believe that when a child is happy, they can learn. Wings are flickering, they're fluttering, they're flying. Gently inspiring, they're kissing our souls. Love is all I found. Love is all I found. Acceptance simply means that uh, this is... Um, something that has to be dealt with in a different way than trying to beat the autism out of the child and trying to cure the child of something that uh, is a challenge but doesn't mean the end. We need to find new ways and adopt new attitudes in teaching and including autistic children in our schools. When we want to cure, we are denying what is. We are not accepting what is. I don't even know if it's something that could be cured, if it's something to be cured, if there's really something wrong or if it's just different. This video and this project, like a work of art, is a work in progress that began with one family. It is my hope that many more will come after this and that the next video has even more autistic people in it, speaking for themselves. I hope that the Autism Acceptance Project can enable this. We are always listening, correcting ourselves and how we refer to autistic people. This is something that we just all have to do. Hold me Crystalline castles melting dissolve.